I'm now going to go through the first, the calibration wizard. So I'm going down to calibration. I'm going to go to wizard. It's going to tell you it's going to delete all the calibration settings. That's fine. We want to scroll back to the left to select yes, then press the button. Remember that's pushing the wheel in. And it's guide you through the startup. Do you want to go through? The answer is yes. Now first it's going to run through the self-check. If you have any errors here, you're going to need to contact me and I will walk you through the, pro the diagnostics. So first it's going to turn on the extruder fan. Then it's going to turn on the blower fan. The print fan. That test should almost never fail. So now I'm going to do an access check. So first we're calibrating the x-axis by running it into the two end stops to make sure it's nice and clear. This would tell you if there's an issue with any sort of clearances or things in the way. It's so now going to go with the y. That's going to make sure the bed is nice and clear between backwards and forwards. Again, you want to pay special attention to the rear cable. Um, if I, I've had issues with this cable running the things and becoming frayed over time. I've replaced and fixed all the printers, so they should be a lot more safer. But you do want to make sure it's clear. Now it's going to run the Z. This is kind of the uh, scariest of them because it's going to run the head all the way down. And it's going to run the head all the way up. So you have to make sure there's nothing under here because that will throw off the calibration. It's now going to run all the way to the very top of the printer. Oh, it's running the home. Now to make sure the bed can heat up, you should see the light on the bed on and it'll get warm. The bed does get relatively hot. It can get up to 100 degrees C, um, so you shouldn't touch the bed. Uh, most of the files we're, stuff we're printing with will run at a moderate uh, 40 to 60 degrees C, so warm but not burning hot. Just be aware the bed can be toasty. You shouldn't be touching it uh, when it's printing. When it finishes, you should let it cool off some. I typically don't because I'm impatient, but I've also heated my fingers pretty good because I've not paid attention to the things. So once the heat, the hot end, uh, bed heat up finishes, it's going to test the hot end, make sure the hot end can get toasty. Now this can take some time, so I'm going to stop the video and I'll come back once it does the next part of the calibration.